Doe Ai is a Bay Area native who is taking her music way beyond the San Francisco Bay, and Cal TV is out to find out what she's all about. This is Diana with Cal TV, and tonight we're going to be singing I Hate You as we sneak backstage with new local artist Doe I. Come on, let's go check it out. We snuck backstage to find Doe I in the middle of soundcheck action. We're here backstage with Doe I. Hi, we're so excited to be with you here tonight. How are you feeling? Doing, doing good. Feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited and ready for the show tonight? I'm very excited. Um, it's my second time playing at Bottom the Hill. It's one of my favorite venues, so I'm stoked. <laughs> so tell us why the name Doe Eye. What made you pick that name? Um, it was uh, it was just like a nickname that one of my coworkers gave to me. I used to work at Apple, and one of my coworkers gave it to me because I I don't know I have. I have big eyes. Um, so it just, eyes. It, oh, thank you. It just, it, it just kind of stuck. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, so we know that you're a student at Berkeley College of Music, of Music in Boston. Um, how do you manage being a student and traveling and having shows pretty much across the country every weekend? Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Um, I go back and forth almost every two or three weeks between Boston and the Bay Area, and then. In between those two or three weeks, I'll also be like in New York. Um, so, I mean, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of, I mean, I live out of a suitcase. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, but it's so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, two of your most popular songs from your EP are I Hate You and Run, 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 Run. Yeah. Um, so, what inspired you to write those songs? Are those love songs? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they are. Um, it's about being into someone or really, really caring about someone and to the point where, like, you know, sometimes feelings aren't mutual or, you know, they, like, it's just never there as much, you know, that, that feeling or the love isn't there as much on your end, on their end, and um, almost to the point where, like, you know, like, God, I hate you so much. <laughs> Okay. But, um, yeah. Yes, they are. They're about. They're. They're about that. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? Uh, no, I haven't. Those are pretty good songs for somebody that has never been in love. Yeah. Um, you know, I get inspired by a lot of different things. It, it'll usually be inspired by some sort of experience, and then I'll use my own imagination, and creativity, to kind of work on it more and add more to it. Um, so, a little birdie told me that you were not only a songwriter and a singer, but that you're also a joker extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a stand-up comedian on the side. <laughs> what do you want your listeners to take away from your music? What's your hope in that? Um, I mean, when I, when I write stuff or with my music, it's whatever, Whatever you you know your perception of the song is, whatever you think it is, whatever it I, and with any song, it's like it'll have a totally different meaning to one person than what this songwriter originally meant, and um, it's just really to be able to connect to it in some way. Yeah. Well, awesome! Thanks for sharing with us. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And are you ready to rock the night tonight? I'm pretty stoked. Okay. Well, don't let us stop you. We'll be right there with you. After some backstage fun with Doi, the crowd gathers up ready for the show. Well everyone, we've had some great fun learning about Doi tonight, but now we're off to enjoy the gig with everybody else. Stick with us for next episodes. For Cal TV, Dana Vergara.